Oh my god, the Snyder Cut is finally coming! Oh my god, I finally got Transformers Dark of the Moon Studio Series Sentinel Prime! He can join the ranks of my other Transformers toys! Can this day get any better? Oh my god, yes. Yes it can. This episode starts off with Bowser about to watch Charlie play with himself, to which he immensely enjoys. Charlie announces a contest where you can win his underwear that he hasn't washed since the first episode of Charlie and Friends, and all you have to do is just call him and tell him how much you love him. Bowser gets ready to call Charlie, and it looks like for the first time ever, Charlie will finally interact with Bowser. Although at first, Charlie talks with several greedy people who just want his underwear for not loving him. Charlie eventually gets Bowser's call, and for the first time ever, Bowser and Charlie interact with each other. And I have to say, this is actually a pretty historical moment. I mean, sure, they're not physically interacting with each other, but hey, they're talking to each other. At least, Lavelle, Bowser, they, they know each other now and stuff. I don't, I don't know, I, I don't fucking know. But anyways, Bowser then announces to the world that he won the contest, and PB. Steve Irwin from the Tiger video brings Charlie's underwear and he smells them, but Bowser says that only he can smell these delicious underwear. Bowser then announces to the world that he has the underwear and he staples them onto the wall of the kitchen. And all seems very well, but unfortunately the characters are about to have some ravioli with green beans on them for dinner. And you know the drill, Jeffy does not like green beans, and he throws the plate. However, this time the plate throwing is actually relevant to the plot because it lands on the underwear. Chef Pee, Pee comes in and he sees the mess that they did on the underwear, so he decides to tell on Bowser, however Junior shuts him up before he can say anything, and they tie him up and lock him in the back of the Lamborghini or Camaro, at this point I don't know what red car they use, but the point is Bowser Jr. and Jeffy tie him up and put him in the car. They then plan on what to do with the underwear and Jeffy suggests that they just simply wash it, which is a pretty easy solution. They wash the underwear and it all seems like it's gonna go very well. until. Bowser Jr. notices that the washing machine also got rid of the signature on the underwear. So Jr. and Jeffy go to Charlie's house so that they can get him to sign his underwear, which coincidentally happens to be in Florida as well. Hmm, why doesn't Bowser just visit Charlie? Anyways, the characters first interact with Charlie since Mario Luigi's Stupid and Dumb Adventure is when Mario interacted with Charlie. Yeah, this is the first time we actually get to see Charlie in person, without the Laugh Box TV or anything like that. Bowser Jr. then explains the situation to Charlie, but Charlie's a bit of a dumb numb because he takes back his underwear, forgetting that he gave it away in a contest, and he threatens to call the cops on them if they don't leave. So Jr. devises another plan. He and Jeffy disguise themselves as a married couple and- Oh my god, wow, huh. Jeffy's kinda hot there. <laughs> So Charlie then answers the door, and he doesn't seem to recognize that it's Bowser Jr. and Jeffy. But then again, I already established that he's a bit of a dum-dum, so it kinda makes sense. So I give him a pass, and Charlie falls for it. So then Jeffy goes to the uh, bathroom, but in reality, we all know he's going to go into his room, find his underwear, and take it. To which he does, he finally takes the underwear, but he decides to announce it in front of Charlie. Charlie says, what the hell are you doing? And the characters run for their lives, and they finally get the underwear back. However, they still need the signature, so they disguise themselves as executives from a TV show, and uh, oh boy, Executive Jeffy is kind of looking up. <laughs> I swear to god, I'm gonna get James gunned. So Charlie then answers the door, and it's revealed that Charlie is so bad at recognizing people, he makes Ash and friends look like they have the best eyesight in the world. But once again, Charlie falls for it, and he thinks he's going to get a new deal on a new TV show. We then see live footage of AT&T executives telling Zack Snyder that they plan on releasing the Snyder Cut on HBO Max in 2021. I I'm just kidding, I'm just really excited the Snyder Cut is coming, but, um, anyway, so yeah, basically, Bowser Jr. and Jeffy are pitching Charlie a brand new TV show that they're going to air on Telemundo, and, um, wow, nice Telemundo reference. But anyway, so Charlie then signs the quote-unquote contract, which is actually his underwear, proving even more how much of a dumb num he is. So Junior and Jeffy have finally succeeded in their heist in getting the Charlie underwear to get signed and, you know, this is actually kind of a weird plot, not gonna lie. But anyways, they have succeeded, Bowser is happy and all, and he sniffs the underwear, 
and everything goes back to normal and it all ends in a happy ending. Although I have a feeling that the characters are forgetting about something, I mean, it happened in the video, it's just I can't remember exactly what happened at the end. But anyways, despite whatever happens at the end of the video, this is probably my favorite SML video of 2020. Not only did it feel like this video was made back in 2014, at the height of all these Bowser and Charlie and Friends videos, but also, we finally get to see Charlie himself in person, outside of the studio from Laughbox TV. Speaking of which, am I the only one who noticed that the Laughbox TV logo was not on the show? I wonder if Charlie and Friends moved, uh, you know, networks and stuff, because, you know, cable cutting is very popular. But the point is, we finally get to see Charlie outside of the studio and interact with some of the characters. The only other time we see Charlie interact with other characters was all the way back in Mario & Luigi's Stupid and Dumb Adventures, where Mario teleported into the Charlie and Friends dimension. But that really didn't count because he was still inside the show. Here, we actually get to see the characters interact with Charlie outside of the studio. Not only that, but Jeffy wasn't annoying in this video. Like, I know I say that before, but trust me, this time, there wasn't any moment where I just, you know, cringed at Jeffy. Like, Jeffy was actually tolerable in this video. Unlike the previous videos where there was at least one moment where I didn't like Jeffy, here, Jeffy wasn't annoying. He actually does something with the plot. Hell, you know, the part where he throws the green beans ravioli? That was actually plot relevant. A Jeffy joke that was plot relevant, wow, I never thought I would say that, but not only that, but the plot is more well structured today than any other SML video, not to mention Bowser actually interacting with Charlie, even if it was just through the phone, plus with all the amount of the jokes, they're all funny, it's just, wow, I have no words, I have no words, this video is my favorite SML video of 2020, Jeffy wasn't annoying, we get to see Charlie again in a bigger role than ever, I give this video 5 stars, and the Jurassic Park seal of approval. When was the last time I gave an SML video the Jurassic Park seal of approval? Man, it's really been a while.